Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live attack video. And once again, have another Town Hall 10 here. This base actually has been 3 starred already. Uh, it just happens that I'm going to go ahead and hit it again uh, and try to, you know, do the 3 star again. I mean, this war is pretty much over, so we're just going for practice. And this base I had been planning for, it got attacked. Kind of a long story. But anyway, I'm um, going to go ahead and show the plan, then we'll take a, a crack at the attack. So. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is start off with a queen walk. The Teslas are in blue there. I didn't draw in the giant bombs because they don't really matter. I'm only bringing a few hogs, so not that important on the giant bombs. Uh, basically, going to drop down the queen with her four healers right in this area. I'm going to go ahead and wall break her in here. And then just let the queen step up and walk this way. Um, obviously, the CC troops will come out, so I have the poison. It's a bunch of archers, so the poison should take them down in just a few seconds. Uh, a lot of point defense in that area, so I have the uh, Rage, which I'll drop right here, uh, keep the Queen up for all, all that point defense in the area. Quite a bit of it, actually, but hopefully I won't have to pop the ability. If I do, not the worst you know situation in the world, because her goal is just to take out this compartment, really, and uh, from there she'll probably beat on a wall and like make her way out like that. So the Queen will take out that area. Uh, with the queen walk, the four healers. Then I'm going to come in with a, uh, we'll, we'll do green. I should turn off my notifications. Well, it's too late, but in the future I'll be sure to do that. Uh, green for the golem. And then I'm going to wall breaker in right here. I'm going to have my king and a few wizards uh, back up that golem. Uh, make the way in here, start clearing out this trash. Probably engage the queen. Uh, as soon as that goes down, I'm going to come in with Valks. I'll have a giant to tank, then a few wall breakers, then I'll let in the Valks. Um, they'll all make their way in here. And then everything should kind of meet up in this area. <laughs> Sorry, I have some allergies. Uh, <coughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's allergy season here. Uh, anyway, uh, everything's going to kind of meet up in this area right here. They should kind of converge. Then I'll have a jump to let them uh, through here to the Inferno and then to the Town Hall. I will use a haste. Go ahead and just draw in the haste like this. I'll drop a haste here. I have a rage here. And then I have another jump for over here. Oops. Another jump for over here to let them out. Uh, so just kind of going straight through this core, Inferno Tower to Inferno Tower. Um, so total spells, I have the poison, the haste, uh, two rages two jumps, and then I have one heal because I'm going to be sending in some hogs. I have seven right here. As the Valks are moving through, I'll probably heal them around this area um, and just let them continue on. Everything should kind of converge in this part of the base, and hopefully this base will be done. I think I explained everything. Uh, let's go ahead and go into Clash of Clans and see if we can get the job done. Uh, so make sure I have everything as always. Uh, heroes... Spells look good. A lot of spells. I hate it when I have a bunch of different spells because it takes up so much space in the bar. And that can kind of make it tricky to navigate. Especially on my phone because I'm on my phone. Uh, my iPad, once again, can't use it. Complicated. I don't want to get into it. But I used it for my first attack, actually. So anyway, though, everything looks good. I think I have plenty of wall breakers to bust into those three separate places. Which is a little bit tricky on the fingers. But I think I can get the you know, get them deployed correctly. And then the giant to take, the hogs, the valks. Yeah, everything's looking good. So let's go ahead and have a crack at this and see if I can't get the three star here. So like I said, this war is pretty much over. This base has been three starred, but let's get some practice and see if we can get, um, you know, a fairly solid Town Hall 10 three starred because it's not the easiest base in the world. The design isn't perfect, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and have a crack at this. All right. One last look through. Remember what I'm going to do? Start off uh, with the queen walk and then just kind of go from there. Uh, but yeah, everything looks good. Alright, let's go ahead and have a shot at this. Alright, start off with the queen and then we'll get the wall breakers going. If there is a hole, I'm not going to use it. Uh, no point, really, in my opinion. So get the queen going right there. The four healers. There's the wall breakers. Let everything on in. Uh, let's get this poison ready. That should be going down before the rage, actually. Or maybe not. We'll see. 
as soon as I rage up the queen, I'm going to start everything else. Uh, so just make sure she takes out what I need to when she's okay, and then I'll go ahead and get things going. But I want to make sure I get the spells down first. All right, let's get this rage going like that. Ooh, she's taking quite a bit of damage. <clears throat> oh, do I have to pop the ability? Oh, it's going to be close, actually. But the archers are going down. Uh, that poison's doing a great job on them. She is taking damage from a lot of different point defense. I might have to pop the ability, especially if the rage runs out. Yeah, I'm going to have to pop it right there. That sweeper, obviously a factor. Uh, but I think as soon as she takes out that gold storage, she's going to be good. I have this rage if I need it. I don't want to have to use it. Oh, goodness. Is she going to go the wrong way here? Hope she doesn't. Yeah, she. well, let's go ahead and get this stuff started. Uh, golem. Wall breaker, wall breaker, wall breaker. Uh, king. One, two, three. Uh, Valk. Get all this going in here. Uh, let's get the jump down. And let's get the haste. The queen, I don't even know what the queen's doing, but uh, we'll just go with it. Let's get this rage going. These hogs. King's ability. Jump. I have no idea what's even going on in this attack right now. Uh, just trying to go with it. Get this heal going. Uh, there's the double set being triggered. And uh, those hogs getting the benefit of the rage a little bit. They'll get in there and they'll get that inferno tower. The healers are going to get on them a little bit too. But it might be too little too late here. Uh, let's get these wizards going. <clears throat> uh, don't have much for the wall breakers to do. Just wall breaker in there. Uh, not going to get the three star here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Uh, I don't like attacking on my phone to be honest. But... Uh, Sometimes my iPad's in being used for other stuff. It's a long story, but uh, I did my best. I think the queen walk went kind of weird. She uh, she went down in some way or another, and I don't think there was a lot of point defense in that area as soon as she got past the initial stuff, so I'm not sure why. I mean, there's that cannon, that archer tower up. Uh, the Valks, you know, did, weren't great, I guess. Uh, the golem wasn't out in front as much as it should have been, and uh, with no heals, those Valks aren't going to do a whole lot because they don't have you know an unlimited amount of hit points and those infernos got through them pretty quickly so we'll take a look at the replay see exactly what happened at least i can see what happened and talk about it a little bit as this last wizard beats on that wall even though it should be able to target that elixir storage but uh anyway that's the attack 73 percent uh we'll go ahead and see what i can learn from this uh yeah i mean the, i don't know if it was the archers that really were the problem because the poison spell got them down, uh, but it did delay the time, I guess. And maybe it was stupid to not just drop a barb, because uh, I did have that barb I was going to drop to trigger the giant bomb. I, I forgot to. But there was this hole here, so I probably could have done my strategy I talked about before, which is dropping down the uh, barbarian, lure off the CC, then pull the archers back and forth in the middle of a poison spell. That would have taken up time, but it might have been worth it, because uh, what the archers effectively did is they delayed my queen's progress and the rage ran out quicker than I wanted it to. Uh, but let's take a look at the queen walk, see exactly what happened. I was mainly focusing on my other troops after the queen got through these initial few buildings. Uh, there goes the rage though. She kind of hovers at like half health here. You can see the archers are pouring out, but they're going down pretty quickly in that poison. Uh, so the rage, you know, wearing on it, it's going to go away pretty soon. So I do have to pop the ability earlier than I wanted to. Uh, right here, that sweeper starts pushing back the healers. I thought it might do that a little bit at first, but I wasn't thinking it was going to push them back for that long because the queen should have uh, moved along pretty quickly. But right here, you can see, goes over to that storage, and uh, she is taking quite a bit of damage from those two archer towers plus the sweeper. Luckily, she does get out of range of that one uh, archer tower. Go ahead and zoom out so I can uh, see the rest of the attack while this goes on. Uh, looks like she's on a wall right here. I don't remember her going, or now she switches walls, that's kind of weird. So she was on that first wall, she switches over to the second wall. We'll go ahead and see what happens here. Uh, here come the king, the Valks, everything making their way in, the wizards. This part looked like it went okay, everything funneled in just how I wanted it to, except that one builder's hut kind of drew stuff away. The queen, I guess, gave up on that wall and went back to uh, walking around. And right here, it looks like th things went through the wall for some reason. They didn't go to those Teslas and take that second jump. Uh, the queen, 
Yeah, I, I guess the two-point defense was just enough. She was about to take out that archer tower too, so she would have been okay had just she been able to stay up a little bit longer if there was a little less point defense on her. Uh, but right here, I think for some reason or another, they did not take that jump. The Valks, the King. I'm telling you guys, Valks do not take jumps like normal troops do. For whatever reason, they ignore these jumps more than uh, the average troop because I think I had enough firepower. I had, I think only half of my Valks went into the core. Uh, the King didn't go into the core either. I don't think the Golem did. So I think I really just had about six Valks going in to deal with those max Teslas and then the Inferno. Uh, the Hogs did make their way through, but not like how I, I would have wanted them to. So kind of a weird attack. Just, uh, I'd say kind of unlucky. I mean, obviously, maybe not, wouldn't have been a three-star even had things gone my way. Uh, but the Queen was so close. Had she kind of been a little bit smarter about things and just done the walk I intended, she might have been able to stay up and uh, she would have been by that uh, air defense area by now. And uh, I don't know. That that King and the Valks not taking... Let's take a look at that one more time. I'm just so curious as to how this happened because... I thought I kind of knew what was going on when I made the video about the jump spell, but let's take a look at this one more time, fast forwarded. Um, yeah, we have the the queen making her way in, I already talked about that, and uh, she goes on the walls for whatever reason. I don't know why she switched walls right here. She takes out that storage, then she goes on the first wall, then she switches over to a different wall. It was kind of weird, but anyway though, let's see why these troops don't take the jump. There's the jump, uh, the king, the valks. A uh, few of them go in, so I have like four Valks going in, but everything else, I guess just too far. Just t the, the Inferno Tower was too far away. Uh, I mean, the whole reason I sent in the King and the Golem was to try to take out uh, that area over here to make sure everything met up by the beginning of the jump, but I guess that one Builder's Hut survived, and it kind of screwed me in the end because it drew everything away, and only about four or five Valks actually went into the core of the base. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the live attack. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully in the future I'll have some more three stars to show you guys. But anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Sectatron out.